One thing I love about creativity and art, which is gonna sound super obvious, is the crossing over of other ideas from various sources and birthing it out into something that is uniquely your own. It's even better when that creative individual took those ideas and implemented them in a way that is not outright copying the source material, but paying homage to it, while simultaneously creating their own voice through inspiration, which they internalized. And that's exactly what Bright Memory is. Now, before we discuss Bright Memory, I would please ask that you like and subscribe and comment on this video because as a young channel, I am trying to figure out what exactly this audience that we're creating is. What is our identity as a channel? I want to make videos that you want to watch and I can't do that if I don't hear from you and hear what I can do better to help entertain you because that's what I want to do. I want to help entertain you. So please subscribe, like, comment, tell me what's wrong, tell me what I did well. Um, I want to do this for you guys, not for myself. Well, you, you know what I mean. So let's get back into the mini review. If I could use a few games to describe Bright Memory, I would use the following. Resident Evil, Astral Chain, and this is from a art and style conceptual, you know, kind of voice for the game. Call of Duty Zombies for the gameplay style. Uh, this is in the sense of when you're playing, you always are backpedaling, and that's a very big gameplay mechanic in Call of Duty Zombies. You're always running backwards. You have to know your surroundings and, and know the ins and outs of the game mechanics so that you are escaping the horde. And also, the Devil May Cry with their melee combo system, especially in the air with melee attacks, you can float while you're attacking people and there's a grading system that gives you more XP and more damage output, I would assume. Uh, Bright Memory takes the best elements of first person shooters, RPGs, and third person melee combat story titles and brings it to life using the Unreal Engine. And what's even crazier about everything I just said is this game is made by one human being. How? I can't even take a shit without help. As soon as I saw this gameplay on another YouTube channel, I knew I was going to love it. I just knew it. And I would like to note that this game is in early access and the total experience is about an hour or so depending on how fast you play through it. And the only footage I am showing here is the beginning and I guess the, the end. I don't want to ruin your journey of how to get there because I really think you should try this game and try it for yourself. I mean, it's only $6 for about an hour of solid, solid gameplay and playtime. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you that this is the greatest game I've ever played, but it was really fun and it felt original and there was action every step of the way. There was not one dull moment, I swear to God. It isn't a game that's trying to get you to play it so that you can grind for 100 hours with no end game in sight. And yeah, there are power-ups and things to strive for and upgrade, but the gameplay loop is super satisfying and, and honestly there's not much to say about it than that it's up and coming, exciting, and made by one person and I want to help promote it if I can. Things like this don't always come by and it's important to support great things when you see them. Hopefully gaming journalists don't find it and ruin it with their grubby little social justice hands or maybe that would help it, I don't know. I just like that this game hasn't come out with a political message or a cultural message about white man bad or something like that. And hopefully the relevance it brings to gaming is actually a positive thing and the community it builds can provide a fresh take on something we haven't fully seen yet. Oh, one last thing. This game is, I think, only on PC as of now. I haven't looked for other platforms, but it is on PC. Anyways, that's going to do it for the video today. Thanks for watching. My name is Skeptics, and I'll see you in the next one.